it may not have shown in the item shop, but here I have it right here. Silas Hesk, as I think you say this guy's name right here. Um, he's got a Lego variant right here. With the back bling, the serpent, the serpentine. That's what, that's what it says right there. And the fangs of Hesk. Okay. Okay. The Skull Scout. Okay, all these guys with their edit styles. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this doesn't look like this guy has a wrap or anything. So, um... Yeah, oh, I, I didn't equip him right here. Hold on, I'll just do that for you guys right here. Okay. That's... Right, so yeah, then there's... Oh, yeah, all these things out the edit style. The Serpentine. Then the Pickaxe. This guy so far it seems pretty cool. I like his little lobby pose right there. Yeah, he's got okay. Okay. Yeah, it sounds don't look bad, and then we got the galaxy one, of course. How close am I with the uh, shimmer dust being done? Okay, just the just a few more. I was really curious about that. But yeah, that's what pretty much what we got going on with this guy. Let's get it. Is it weird that I already forgot the name of this guy? <laughs> It probably is. I'm using the uh, Orochimaru uh, glider because, well, since he's got a bit of a snake theme going on on him. Hold on, does, does my snake do anything? Hold on a second. If I aim, um, does my snake look any different whenever I aim down sight? Uh huh, okay. Also, using the, uh, oh, I forgot what this rap was called, but it belonged to the uh, catalyst. Eh, I think it matches the vibe of, like, the pickaxes. And speaking of, though. That streak looks amazing. Holy crap. Okay. Impact is amazing. <laughs> that looks really good. Yeah, it didn't look any, like when hitting weak spots doesn't do anything. Hitting people. It sounds pretty average, but the impact is amazing. I don't think this thing visually unequips off the back bling of the pickaxes, um, which is kind of a missed opportunity. We've been seeing that quite a bit, but eh, it's okay. Uh, without the back bling, oh, whoops, uh, without the back bling, uh, yeah, just this guy, like, I'm, uh, yeah, the snake looks kind of weird, like, around his neck. Uh, let me spin him around really quick. Um, yeah, <laughs> this snake is, uh, I kind of do like it, though. It's not, it doesn't get in the way when aiming down. Uh, yeah, I think in general he looks pretty cool. Also, by the way, hold on, let me check something. Does he have his nails painted black? I think he does. <laughs> Not that I'm one to judge. Does, does my dude have uh, painted on uh, black nails? Uh, let me try this. Uh, 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 emo. Are his nails painted black? <laughs> they are. I'm a little curious if it's like that with the edit styles. Let me actually check that out really quick. With his edit styles right here. Um... It's kind of hard to tell with all that stuff, because <laughs> because he, he's he's holding on to the pickaxes. <laughs> um, speaking of, do the pickaxes have these edit styles? They do. The galaxy one looks pretty cool. These do have like these other edit styles, and so does the backling, I believe. Which I probably should have done that in the locker, but eh, what are you gonna do? These actually look pretty cool, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to be able to get these eventually. But for now. This is what we got. And I think that's going to be the last review of uh, 2023. After this, I should be doing the Locker Tour Saga 2024. But I won't be doing it yet until it's 2024. And I'll see y'all next year.